Christy here. Long time no hear. Okay, I'm just um, setting up a um, Castle Phoenix Edge HV120 amp ESC. I've had a few issues trying to get the, the uh, motor to respond. Um, I've programmed it all up. Uh, when you select helicopter, there, it only gives you two options. It gives you a fixed endpoint option and a uh, for the throttle and also a governor mode which I'm not using so um, anyway I couldn't get it to work so I've done a little bit of playing around and a bit of reading in the software and um, I've actually got it to work so I'm just going to go through and show you how I did that so that someone else uh, can you know learn from a from a vid sort of thing I'm sure it's possibly been done before um, so what you want to do is set up your um, you know, you can your transmitter to your, oh, this, in this case it's my Goblin, as you can see uh, over there on the right hand side. Um, yeah, I know not a good idea having all my transmitter and stuff on the carpet, but hey, I'll take the risk. Um, so what you want to do is go into, this is a, a DX7S that I'm setting up, um, go into your throttle curve, and you want to set up a linear throttle curve. So that means when you go into normal mode, you want to set up it on 0, 25, 50, 75 and 100. Okay, so that's a linear throttle curve. Okay, so just go back and you want to do normal mode and throttle hold off. And then what you want to do is go into your servo setup and then go to your travel of your throttle. And basically reduce both of these settings down to 25%. Move it up to high stick and reduce that down to 25%. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're now going to power the heli up. Um, I had a few problems and I talked to Tony of um, rchelp.com and uh, he gave me a few suggestions to test things out and it because oh, I thought it may have been a faulty. Um, uh, icon controller sending out a f no signal at all to my servo, so I've tested that. The servo, I can get a servo working off the throttle channel, so it's not that. So that kind of tweaked me on to doing a bit more reading. Okay, so what you do now is you, um, in my case, I've got my, B my uh, BEC set up on separate from my servos, so I'll just power my icon up. Wait till that initializes. Okay, that's all initial, uh, and now I plug it in. Plug in my um, batteries, 44.4 volts. Okay, and it does nothing. Uh, so that 12 counts was how many cells I've got. So I've got my two 22.2 um, uh, volt 6S batteries. So now what we've got to do now is because it's not going to go anywhere anyway, I've got the belt disconnected, so always remove your belt so that you can freely spin your motor without the blades taking off. Um, as my old, good old mate from fielding, Mike, which should know, uh, see the bruises on his arms and cuts on his arms. Uh, anyway, I told him quite a few times before that. Anyway, he's learned his lesson now. So what we've got to do now is, um, it's in high position now, so what we need to do is we need to uh, increase the percentage until you hear a tone on the on the controller. So it should be up around 100 percentish. But just take it up slowly until you hear it beep. Okay. Now we'll take it to the low stick and take this one up. So this is telling the endpoints. Okay, so that's it there. Okay, so that that one beat, the high pitch beat, will go every 20 seconds. It's a kind of like a 
remind that it tell you to turn your battery off. There it goes again. Okay, so we know that it's initialized. So what we now is we're going to test it by disconnecting. I'll just zoom out so that you can see that. So now I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to back out of the program. So back, back, and I'm at low stick. I'm going to disconnect the power to the um, castle, and I'm going to reconnect again. 12 counts, and because I've definitely taken the belt off, I know that that's going to spin, and I'm not going to get a blade whack me in the arm or anything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test the throttle. And that works perfectly, whereas before it was dead. So you need to calibrate those endpoints. Okay, so that's how you do it, and I hope that helps someone out there. Cheers. Have a good day, guys. And girls.